Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I've come to the conclusion I'm going to have to change up the build a little bit. I originally wanted to make it a two seater, but I'm going to have to make it a single seater as I'm not going to have enough room. I worked out that the two race seats I originally planned on getting, there's not going to be enough space in between to run the handbrake and the gear lever. So basically today I'm going to work on remounting the steering wheel. I'm going to have to move it across, change where the steering rack and everything is at the moment. And the foot controls I'm going to have to move over as well. Basically make it so I can make it into a one person buggy. Then hopefully later on when I change the motor over, I'll put in a different pedal box out of a different type of vehicle so I can run a clutch, some sort of clutch setup. But yeah, we'll get started with that. So this is what I mean by the handbrake will be in the way if I mount the seat into the center of the buggy. Along with the gear lever at the moment, it's just forward and reverse. And yeah, obviously the steering wheel is offset because it was originally a two-seater, but it's for uh, smaller people, as I've worked out myself. But <laughs> yeah, so today I'm going to be cutting the welds off here, trying to remount this steering into the center, cut the tabs off. I'll be able to reuse this one for the gear stick. Probably move it across over here somewhere around there. I've got to remove the handbrake. The cable on that isn't really good at the moment. I'm going to have to get rid of the bar up here so I can move the pedals across and the brake the brake across as well and redirect some of these cables. The original exhaust wasn't any good so I had to reweld up some pipe and I just put some heat protection on it. And I'm not going to use the rear tray that was originally on it. I think I'm going to make up some sort of subframe maybe to go around. Just to go around here, maybe from this point to there and then to protect the radiator as well. We're going to start by removing the loom for now. the loom at the moment as I need to remove the bar that's there in order to fit the foot pedals and move them across into the center of the buggy. Just showing you guys what I've done so far. So I've cut the bracket out where the gear lever was mounted, which is over here. This was a bracket, I've just got to clean it up with a flap disc so I can remount it along further along the rail. I had to cut out a little notch because when I cut the lever out, obviously it had a big enough hole. So I just cut this little bit out and I'll measure this up on the pipe. 
basically, I'm just going to get another piece of pipe, mark this out on a piece of pipe, put it in, weld it in, and call it a day with that. And then I have removed the footrest for the passenger so I can move the pedal box itself. So this is the footrest, it was just in here. But yeah, now I'm going to have to uh, make a new location where the loom's going to reroute as the seat will be in the way unless I run it under. I've got to move the pedal box across into the center which will require me moving a lot of the tabs and brackets unless I want to make new ones but I'll see how we go. Okay, as you can see I've got the brake and the accelerator out. This being the accelerator, there's a part for the throttle cable to connect, the adjustment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a spot where I can put a, a grease nipple on somewhere around here just to make it easier as I had a lot of issue with getting the bolt out. It seemed to be seized in place a little bit. I'm going to do that, put the grease nipples on and I've got to cut out some of these brackets here. Might have to make new tabs up for where they were located and I'm going to have to tap some threads as you can see that's where the adjustment was. Now I've just put the new grease nipples in, they've worked alright, I've got them in there and it's made it a lot easier to free up. temporarily now that's not too bad at the moment although when I mount the accelerator one I'm going to have issues with hitting the winch so I'm going to either have to change up the winch idea or See if I can move the seat backwards more. Okay guys, so it's the next day. I painted everything black. I've got all the accelerator and the brake in there. The accelerator is a little bit forward compared to the brake, but it's only a little bit. I've got it mostly centred to where I want it to be. It's not exactly centre. I had to tap a few threads here in the pipe just down there and I've got a little lock nut on the end of the bolt there just to hold it in place and help the adjustment I've had to paint in there as well so now what I'm going to be doing is working on the steering and getting it to the center what I'm going to be doing now is I need to get one of the uh, threaded bolts going into the steer knuckle here as it's stripped the end of it and I'm going to try welding on a nut and seeing if I can get rid of the rest of the thread out of the knuckle and we'll go from there and see how we go. Now thankfully we got that bolt out.
Here's the finished product. I've shortened it by 50 mil, retapped the threads on the knuckle. That's the old ones were buggered, but there we go. Once I've found the position that I like, I'll tack it into place or take a bit off so I can adjust it so it's for my height. And I'll fix it into position and make sure it's in the right place where I want it and it's nice and comfortable. I'm going to take it up a little bit higher as the wheel is quite close to my knees at the minute. So if I give it a little just square this seat up a little bit more. It doesn't feel central. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit higher, I reckon. So I'll start by doing that. I'll just take a little bit out. And then... Tuck that into place when I'm happy with it. So what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to shorten this up. This bracket's a little bit offset as it was for right-hand drive. So I'm just going to basically probably take 10 or so mil off and just put a little curve in there just so it goes around the pipe and fits nice and snug. All right, guys, I'm taking a fair bit off the steering. I'm just going to hop in mark where I'd like the steering wheel to sit to allow for some extra leg room. Just going to get this seat a little bit straighter. Right. It's a lot more leg room, that's for sure. And I'm a lot happier with how it sits. I think I'm pretty happy there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this permanent marker here. And I'm going to mark out Where I want this to sit. By the time I put seat rails on as well, it's going to make me a little bit higher. So my legs are probably going to be even closer. So it should give me enough room in the end. Feels way better. Very happy with that. Righto guys, I've got the steering tacked into place to where I want it to be. I'll finish off the rest off camera, I'll just finish off the welding and clean it up a little bit. But that's it for today's video, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye.